Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Libra. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. Let's see, let's see what's going on. All right, so we have the Knight of Wands. Here we go. Aries, Leo, Sag, Energy. We have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Three of Swords. Oh gosh, this is already looking third party-ish and this is not what I wanted to come out. Oh, it's always a freaking third party. All right. Um, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. All right. Clarify the, um, let me move this over. Clarify the, um, Knight of Wands. The Seven of Wands. You guys are standing your ground with some type of wishy-washy player, immature person here. Yeah, they're telling you to stand your ground or to protect your energy here. You guys could even possibly block this person. Yeah, you're setting boundaries with this person. Or that's the advice here already. Tell me about this Three of Pentacles. See, this is somebody that wanted things their way. Controlling. Yeah, huge ego. There was a power struggle between you and this person. Where they just need to grow up. Like, they were not being a good team player. They're being very inflexible. They wanted things the way that they wanted things. They weren't, they weren't meeting you halfway. So that's why you guys are setting boundaries with this person. Um, tell me about the Three of Swords. The Ace of Wands. What? All right, tell me about the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. The Seven of Pentacles. <sighs> what is going on? <laughs> the Knight of Cups. Mm. Pisces, Cancers. What is the Three of Swords and the Ace of Wands, Spirit? The Page of Swords in reverse. Yeah, be careful with this person. This person has already hurt you. They just, they're not growing. They're not changing. What, so what does it do with the, tell me about the three of swords, the ace of wands, three of swords, ace of wands, the moon. See, yeah. Uh, the king of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What about the king of pentacles and the moon? You, I feel like um, you guys are maybe seeing something clearly about somebody. You, you just know that somebody, like you cannot trust anything that they say. You know that they just, they, they sell you a dream. They have, they're all talk, no action. I feel like you guys know this about this earth sign. Tell me more about the two of swords in reverse. Yeah, exactly. The full in reverse. Like, you guys are just seeing this person very clearly. Yeah, the sun. Yep. What about the six of wands? The magician. The tem temperance. Okay, what's up to do with my collective? We have Aries, we have Sag. What? Strength, Leo energy. Somebody is... It's like something is like... It's like you're investing a lot of your energy and time into something and they're putting no effort and work into this or something. Let's see. Like all of the... the you guys kind of feel like you wasted your time. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles. See, the, the Ten of Swords in reverse. You've learned your lesson here. Yeah, the Sun again, Leo Energy, the Magician again, the Ace of Pentacles. It's like you've learned your lesson from dealing with this shit and then... Okay, so what does this have to do with this person, this egotistical person? Yeah, this person, the, they're toxic. So you, what do they need to do about this person? Yeah, one-sided, unequal, give and take here. Why is this coming through? Why is this coming through for them today? There's some type of lying here or dishonesty or... Mm, the hermit. Mm, so what's this mean for my collective? The nine of swords. See... This person doesn't, is not doing right by you, but they're not, all, they're also not letting you go. Okay. That, that's maybe why this is coming. They, they, yeah, they try to keep you trapped. This person likes to try to keep you trapped. Okay. Up in your head, stuck on them. Mm hmm. But they don't like, they don't want to compromise with you. What about the Queen of Cups? Pisces energy. What's this have to do with my collective? The Two of Cups. What are the Two of Cups? See, mm, you need to listen to your intuition about this person. You may need to move on from that. Like, I mean, yeah, they're saying this person's toxic and um, it's 
this person's maybe a little bit obsessed with you as well. Let me let me take a drink really quick. Why is this coming through for my collective right now, Spirit? Why do they need to know about this toxic player, or toxic person, egotistical person? What do they need to know about this person? Why is this coming through? King of Cups. Okay. What about this King of Cups? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. The Empress. Divine Feminine Vibration of Love. Okay. Hiding. Somebody's hiding their love for you. What? Feeling, they're feeling insecure. They have a fear of vulnerability, but they do have love for you. What in the heck? They feel like you, yeah. Forbidden. Why? Oh, goodness. Why is forbidden here? Ace of Wands. See? Why the Ace of Wands is here twice? So what does that mean for my collective? Oh, wait. Uh-oh. Here we go. Awakening. And Ten of Pentacles. Uh-oh. They're going to try to reignite this. There, yeah, but I don't know. We have forbidden here, though. Why is forbidden here, though? Five of Wands, bickering, conflict, opposition. There's people that are working against this relationship, y'all. Or there's what does this have to do with this connection? Five of Wands, the Emperor. What about the, the Divine Masculine? Ten of Wands. They're overburdened here. Mm, what's this mean for this connection? The Fool. They're 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 leaving something behind. They're withdrawing from something. Yeah, this person was lustful and yeah, they were acting cold or whatever. They're gonna that's gonna be changing here. They were holding back from you, but it's some type of divine intervention or tower here is make I don't know, guys, but it's like this person is gonna leave they're withdrawing from something, they're having an awakening, they're about to surrender. They've been holding back from you and hiding their feelings for you. Just Scorpio energy here, Aquarius energy here. Yeah, there's like the Fool and the Ten of Pentacles. That's a new long-term stable relationship, building a solid foundation, marriage. Yeah, something long-lasting. Passion, spark, beginnings, potential. Ten of Wands. There's something that this person needs to release. Some type of responsibilities or something like that. What is this? What's being released here? And what does this mean for what's, yeah, some type of third. There's too many threes here. Yeah, there's a, what about this Three of Cups? King of Wands. Up oh, now we have two kings here. Aries, Leo, Sag. What about this King of Wands? Long wait. You've been waiting a long time for this person to take this action. I don't think this is not two different people. This is somebody that does have love for you, but you've been waiting forever in a lifetime for this person to put in the same amount of effort and work that you'd put in. And I feel like you've been waiting for this person to like take charge of a situation. Or so, take a, some type of action. Tell me more about that. Ghosting. What does this have to do with your connection? Divine timing. It's like in divine timing. Yeah, we have the Ace of Pentacles again too. There's going to be a um, new beginning between you and this person. But it may not be happening right now. Or you will. it may be happening soon. But it's been taken forever and a lifetime. Why is ghosting, ghosting here? Dark night of the soul. So there is like going to maybe be like a period of like, this person either ghosted you. Or there's going to be a period of, like, no contact. Like, things are not over, but it's like, there's this energy of disconnection here. Patients need it. Surrender to the unknown. What about the dark night of the soul? Justice. Soul contract. Balance being restored. Let's see for my collective. Sexual encounter. Oh, here we go. See, I told you this person's obsessed with you. Ooh, this person's obsessed with you sexually. Ooh, that's, <laughs> yeah, this person is obsessed. I mean, not just that. It's more than that. But they're definitely obsessed with you in that way. Or this person even has like a sex addiction for some of you. Yeah, taking things slow, patient, stable, love, hanged man, sacrifice, mm, knight of cups. They're having to give, what are they giving up or walking away from? What are they, what about the high priest? Something to do with children? What about children? Eight of, see, eight of pentacles. Children have to do with anything. Ten of cups, death. It could be a family situation. Some type of. What's coming to an end to your spirit? What's coming to an end? Ooh. 
what is this? Four of Pentacles. Something that they were holding on to. Something that they were holding on to for dear, dear life here. That's finally going to be coming to an end. What are they holding on to, Spirit? Give me more clarity on what this person is not has not been releasing. What have they not been releasing, Spirit? Nine of Wands. They're, they're, they're having a hard time letting their guard down. Or it's like something that's not good. Because the Nine of Wands is like the wounded warrior, right? This person's like, this situation has been exhausting. It's been long. It's been tiring. They've been through a lot in it. But for some reason, they don't want to like... They haven't been closing this out. They're maybe been trying to be patient with it or something. Tell me more. Strength, taming emotions, overcoming obstacles. What's this have to do with why they're not leaving it behind? Nine of Cups. Okay. So they thought this was their Nine of Cups. Maybe they thought that they could manifest happy, happiness in that situation. What does this have to do with my collective? Mirroring. Oh, maybe there's some. There's something that both of you guys need to release. There's some there's cycles that you and this person both need to release. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. So that yeah, what about Page of Pentacles? Seven of Cups. Okay. What's the subject of my collective? The Six of Swords. Yeah, it's something that you guys need to like you guys are finally ready to move on from something now. And what's that mean for this connection? Five of Pentacles. What? The Ten of Pentacles. It's going from the Five of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles here. So it's like going from feeling like a lack, like a lack energy. You're feeling rejected, lonely, left out in the cold to some type of long-lasting union, marriage, solid foundation. Yeah, but why, we keep having that forbidden come out. Oh, shit. Hold on, guys. I dropped half my deck. I want to, why does that forbidden card keep coming out? Differences, family and friends don't approve. I don't know. Like I said, there could be some people trying to work against this. Okay, I didn't mess the, hold on a second, y'all. I got to fix my deck. All right. Why is forbidden here? Clarify forbidden spirit. Death. See, there's something that's ending, something that, death. What's that mean for this connection? Six of Pentacles. See, why is, so is it a, the other situation that's forbidden? What's the forbidden situation? Queen of Pentacles. What? Devil? Could be a Capricorn in the mix. What? Differences. What is, what's, what's this ending mean for this connect? What does death mean for this, the emperor? This emperor is going to be going through an ending or some type of change. Ace of Wands. Yeah, leading to some type of new beginning. What does this have to do with my collective, though? Date. So you were, you're going to be getting asked out by this person. See, they're, they're, if they're, gonna, they're walking away from something. Or you're walking away from something? What is what? This eight of cups mean for my collective? It's time. It's, somebody is, they're walking away from something, guys. I don't know. I don't know exactly the circumstances here. But they're walking away from something to give you an equal give and take, a balanced relationship. They will do this in divine timing. But it has something to do with, like, who is this person that they're walking away from? Page of Swords. A gossiper? Who is this person? Nine of Pentacles. Car a karmic partner. Yeah, somebody that they were codependent on or that is kind of crazy. I don't know. Has a dark side. Yeah, somebody that, yeah, mind games, betrayal, and toxic love. What's this mean for my collective? The Knight of Swords. Sudden action arrival being swept off your feet. And we have frozen, hard to let go. It's like they've been resisting this change, though. Why? Grieving. What does this have to do with my collective? Knight of Wands. Tower. What's the tower? A lesson. Or like a, a, a separation is, is a tower here. Leading to some type of growth. Victory. A breakthrough. Yeah, someone's heart chakra is opening. They were, they're awakening to this connection. All right, let's get some more clarity on this because I still kind of need to have, I don't know. I don't know the whole picture about what's going on here. I know that either you're walking away from this person and it's going to be a tower for them or they are walk, or maybe you're walking away from them and then they're walking away from something. There's going to be a walking away from something here, okay? It's like walking away from something to have something balanced.
new beginning, fresh start doing, yeah, new beginning, fresh start doing things differently, no longer interested. What does this have to do with my collective? Thoughts of marriage. See, it's something that they're no longer interested in. It's like they're to have a new beginning with you, they're closing out a chapter that they're no longer wanting to, they're, they're not interested in that anymore. They're moving on from something finally. And because they're thinking about thought, they're having thoughts of marriage with you. They see a future with you. They want a commitment with you. Tell me more. Silly games. What's that do with my collective? Silly games. Love gates. They were. They were playing. Somebody was playing hard to get or you're playing. What does silly games mean for my collective? Love bombing. Yeah, they were, they were playing with you. They would love bomb you. Or yeah, being a tease, playing hard to get. You're not, you may not, you may also just not be falling, falling for this love bombing anymore. Yeah, but it says the love gates are opening, manifesting love, love coming soon. What does that mean for this person or this connection that's coming through? See, yeah, they're having a change of heart. Major change in feelings or thoughts. Why? Guilt and regret. Oh, accepting responsibility. They're haunted by what they did to you. Mm -hmm. It's like they want you. Yeah, they, they know they self-sabotage this. Fierce, pessimism, runner, triggers. What's this? Yeah, they avoiding an escapism, not facing reality. But yeah, setting a date. They want to see you. That That's the second time that's come out. They want to spend time together. They want to date. Playing the field and secret admirer. Not on the same page. Somebody like wanted to, they have feelings for you, but they wanted to continue to play the field or something like that. You guys were not on the same page. They broke a lot of promises to you. Yeah, they would like do something, show you like a little, they would do something to try to string you along, keep you from, I told you, that, didn't I say that at the beginning of this reading, that somebody keeps you from like, they didn't want to give you everything that you deserve, but they didn't want you moving on either. So they would always do something to try to string you along. That's why Spirit is saying you guys set these boundaries with this person. That's what you need to do. Protect your energy. Um, yeah. What? Tell me about setting a date. Healing work. Healing wounds opening opening up again. See, we have children involved on the back of the deck. Checking their messages. Mm, what is children involved? Comparing options. They are maybe trying to make a decision between you and somebody that they had children with. Yeah. Too many. Too many. Eternal bond. Yeah, this this is the this bond between you and this person's not going anywhere. Sexual chemistry. What about children? True love. When you least expect it. Thinking of you. Call her. You're gonna hear from this person. I was trying to get clarity on yeah, this could be your twin for some of you. Your toxic twin that always wants to come through in these readings, but um, I don't know. So this came out in the of the the twin flame reading I just did earlier today. That children card kept coming out in the twin flame reading too, but what it what it came down to was um inner child wounds in that reading. So it could be that for this too. I don't know. See, we have setting a date again. Sexual chemistry. Call or text. Not on the sea. What is this about? So they may call or text you, but they, I don't know if you can trust this person's intentions. I still feel like you and this person are not on the same page about something. Not yet certain. See, children involved again. Want, it could be just immaturity. They just need to grow up, guys. They need to grow up. They need to heal. Isolated and alone. Oh, what about children isolated and alone? Single and available. Somebody may be isolated for some of you. Somebody may have like lost their children or um, not have their, like not isolated, lonely. They're lonely because they don't have their child or something like that. Retreating, closed off, single and available. What does that do with my collective? Only wants you. Yeah, they only, they don't want anybody else but you. But yeah, obstacles. What's the obstacles to overcome? Making, yeah, this person has to change their damn life if they want to make this work with you. Yeah, make the effort. Maybe work in finances is an is issue. And then we have bad habits, repetitive bad patterns, no change. Yeah, this person's going to have to actually change if this is going to ever work. I don't know. 
but um just gonna few more and then I'm gonna take it over to the extended reading we have the journey yeah this love this love journey may be long and challenging but so long as you are with them you'll never be alone tell me more it's like i see you know what you guys are not gonna like to hear this but like even when you and this person come into to union <coughs> excuse guys hold on <coughs> goodness three sneezes anyways um i see you coming into union with this person but it's not going to be easy with them I just saw 44, like 2144 on the camera. I just did a, a collective reading a few days ago about the number 44. And that reading was talking about somebody's not going to be able to let you go. So it's like, it's going to get to the point where you guys are like, well, we can't stay apart from one another. So we're going to have to figure this shit out. It's like almost like the vibe that I'm getting from this. Like somebody's going to be like, all right, well, I guess I don't have any damn choice, but to try to, I'm going to have to, I guess I'm going to have to change. I guess I'm going to have to do, do what, you know, do what I have to do to be with, with the collective because I can't let them go. So, and the collective is not settling for just this, this, and this, and this anymore. Two, 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 two on the camera right now. So I'm going to have, it's like, they're going to have no choice but to surrender. That's pretty much, it's like going to get to the point where they can't, this is what they're going to have to do. Or at least this is how it's going to view it, feel in their, their mind. That's how they're going to view it. But it says this journey may be long and challenging, but it's like, it's going to be challenging, but it says that like you guys will have each other or something like that divinely guided you may you have met your divine flame just follow the signs to your soul and everything will occur in divine timing innocence yeah your innocence and kind heart makes them love you but feel they must push you away to protect you from themselves they feel like your heart is like really pure and they don't feel that way about themselves like they feel they're gonna hurt you yeah lustful desires there is a difference between love and lust. Don't let your desire destroy you. Overcome the spirit of lust. That's what this person needs to overcome, guys. I'm telling you. Tell me more. Game over. Yeah, they fear your wrath. They know you're no longer entertaining their half-hearted effort. Exactly. That's what I was just saying. It's like getting to that, but they, they feel like they have no choice. Yeah, there's childhood wounds here. Their unhealed childhood wounds prevent them from forming meaningful, meaningful and long-lasting relationships. On a I knew it. When I saw the Empress, I heard that that did put you on a pedestal. So it's no surprise that this is coming out. So it says, you're the queen of their heart, the queen of their fiercely guarded castle. The only fear, the, it's only fear that makes them run. Twin flame. Yep. Here we go. You don't have to be or do anything for them to love you. Their higher self wants union as much as you do. Okay. We have, look at this, guys. <laughs> Lord solitude so we'll start with this time spent in solitude has given them a chance to know themselves better and set a more solid foundation the mask yeah they're about to go through the dark night of the soul guys there's something about their culture and their family that they need to like i don't know something about that there's cultural differences different values beliefs or traditions that pose a challenge to this connection yeah, you're experiencing a massive, they're, they are experiencing a massive, massive upheaval to help them align with new levels of love with themselves and the connection. They want to remove the mask they've been wearing and be brave enough to reveal their true feelings. So this is what's going to happen once they start going through this dark night of the soul. Yeah, there's like people like in their family in their ear. What is this family tree card before I read those other two over there? What's the family tree? Unexpected. Uh-oh. The answers you are seek, the answers you seek are coming, but when the answers arrive, it might be too late or you have moved on. What does that do at family tree? Regret. They're having a hard time forgiving themselves for treating you poorly, less expecting you to forgive them. Yeah, they're going to come in and make some type of romantic gesture. They're, they're going to realize they made a dumb decision. Yeah, they let they, they these people around them are toxic. Their toxic friendships or family are creating distance between you two. So the third party could be their damn family, or it could be a third party too, like another romantic interest, but... It says, in preventing them from seeing the purity of your soul. Mm -hmm. They saw or heard something that turned their sense of reality upside down, left them feeling powerless and trapped. 
They feel like a fool for crossing the line with you and messing up the connection, but too embarrassed to come forward. Mm. But yeah, they they're in regret. Yeah, they're gonna like kind of they're gonna come out come to you kind of unexpectedly. But look at this, missing you. This is somebody that's gonna you're you're gonna spend some time apart from this person in a nutshell. Once they really feel your absence, that's when they're gonna start realizing some shit about this connection and about you. Yeah. Their life feels empty without you. They miss you more than words can say, but they think it's too late to fix things. And we have marriage. They see you as marriage material, someone that inspires them to create a strong foundation for marriage. So it's like you have actually, whether you know it or not, have inspired this person to get their shit together because they do see a future with you. What about this third? Tell me more about this third party energy and then I'm done with this and we're going to take it over to the extended reading. What about this third party energy? What do they need to know about that? Endings, I'm telling you, they're ending something with a third party. Something that, a karmic, a karmic situation or a karmic cycle that, you know, they were placed in to teach them lessons. And it says they entered your life to test you, teach you, and bring out the very best in you. Now your part, now their part in your story is over. So yeah, they're finally letting go of something that was probably supposed to be over a long time ago. What's this mean for the third party endings? Exhausted, yeah. There's a lot of baggage that needs to be taken care of before they approach you. They're really trying to trust the situation. Yep. Boundary. So this is what Spirit is saying you need to do. Until they release all that baggage, they love that you set strong boundaries for yourself and walk away from those who don't respect them, including them. Yeah. So you walked away from them and it's actually making you respect. It's making them respect you more. Yeah. They did not expect this love to run this deep. They're putting their pride aside and taking that leap of faith. They think you guys can be a power couple. They think this is too good to be true. They feel like this is like a fairy tale or something. They see that both of you have an equal exchange of power, which can make you unstoppable as a couple. Hmm. Yeah, the, this player, this player that they, they, it says though they never had you, or they, you guys could have been in a room. They just feel like you, you're the one that got away. To them, you will always be the one that got away. They regret the chances they didn't take, but they're going to take it still. Yeah. Yeah, they don't want you. They don't want to give up on this. They feel you pulling away from them. Mm -hmm. Someone said the more they feel you pulling away from them, the more new of a new perspective they get and the more hopeful they get about your connection. Yeah, they, they, they feel like you're the unknown. But yeah, they chose some toxic shit over you that they didn't even want to choose. They just felt like it was the right thing to do. I don't know why. Um, 